Story time, it's time to do a story time. Guess who finally thought of story time? This girl. Shout out to Jordan's sister Taylor. Jordan was in one of my other videos the twist out tutorial her sister helped me think of a story time shout out to taylor thank you and she also helped me try to figure out another one and i forgot it already so today my story time is going to be about the painters that painted my beautiful room well then let's go ahead and start well, this was last summer when I, um, yeah, because this room, I guess you could say like this is its birthday um, because I remodeled it last year during the summer and had it painted because this wall behind me was turquoise and the rest of the walls were the original color that they already were when we um, moved in. So... We had to find painters that were going to be like, do it for a reasonable, pri reasonable price and then also be able to do the bathroom as well. So my bathroom is connected to my room. So we had the bathroom painted tan and my room painted white. So I went through all the steps going to um, Home Depot, I think, or Lowe's with my grandma and we picked out. Um, different color whites to see which white that I would like so we had tested li little places around the room with the white so I could decide which one I would like best see it in the daytime and nighttime all that stuff you do when you're picking a color for your room pick that color and so we went and we bought I think we bought two um, buckets of paint and we had hired, my grandpa found, found some painters that um, he hired to come and paint for us. So, the first thing that went wrong is they were super late. So, we had, our appointment was set up, they were going to come at 1 and um, paint the room and be out by like 4 or 5 and get there until 3 o'clock. So my mom and my grandma were here like supervising and of course I was here as well to see you know how it was gonna go. Mom was already like super ticked off at them for coming two hours late and I want to say they gave us some type of sorry excuse but I don't remember what the excuse was but it was sorry. They came in we welcomed them as any I guess you would you would welcome any guests that comes into your house so we welcomed them and obviously we gave them some stank looks some because they were late I guess it was like a family company because the guy that seemed like he was um, the person that ran everything was like the son and then he had his dad working with him which is an older guy and some other guy I think they had like two extra workers that I don't know what relation they had to him so it was four guys and they were all supposed to be painting the room so as soon as they got here we hurry up and got them into my room so that they could um, and you'll analyze what they need to do and we could tell them what we wanted and all that good stuff so everything in my room was taken out and we had it in the middle and some stuff was in the hallway so that they had room to get around and so I have a platform underneath my bed, so the platform is really heavy because it's basically just pure wood, so we had to move that. So they get up here and they started painting. So they were moving really, really painfully slow. And I was just like, okay, this is going to go on forever. They already came late, and then now they're just... lugging around so of course my mom said something to them and I don't remember what she said but I was downstairs this whole time because I could tell I could sense the tensions in my mom and I know when she gets mad that you don't want to be around so I was downstairs this whole time 
So she comes upstairs and they're all moving slow and stuff. And she just goes off like she was like, y'all really need to hurry up. You were already late. I don't know what you thought this was. Um, get working. They finished like half of the room. And then we told them that we need the bathroom painted too, which was already in the deal. So like we had already told all them all of this before they got here and they had agreed. So I don't know why they were acting all brand new once they got here and started painting. I don't know if they guessed the room was smaller or what because I sent them pictures. I don't know. So... So after we told them we needed the bathroom painted too, they started... Um, you know, saying all this craziness, talking about some weed. That wasn't in the deal. We can't do it. Excuses. Like, excuses. So, the dad is what really, he really done messed up. He done tried the wrong people because I don't know if he couldn't already sense that my mother and my grandmother were about to chop them in the neck and be done with it. I don't know what they thought, but they was about to get buried in the backyard. So the grandpa or the dad was over here talking about something. We can't do that. Not today. All that. Okay. So my mom, once again, you was already late. You can't be doing all that. Why you think you can come up in here, start naming some prices all wrong, talking about some you can't paint the rooms, and we done already told you what you was supposed to do. And I was with her. I was like, what? Like, why are you acting brand new after you knew what you were supposed to do? You're a painter as like your job. So what did you think? What did you think you were? It just seemed like it was their first time ever painting a room. Like, I feel like if it was just me and my grandma and my mom, we could have finished this room quicker, quicker than these little crybaby men, grown men were, okay? I them alone after um, my mom told him what was up, that he needs to paint the bathroom as well. So, I guess it was maybe like an hour or so had passed and my mom my grandma and i were all downstairs um and we were covering one of my chests that i keep my fabric in with white leather because before it was burlap and it said like paris and stuff all over it but i didn't want that theme for my room anymore so we just covered it with some um white like leather type fabric so we were down there um covering it you know hammering the staples and all that good stuff into it and we had covered the chest as well as um my ottoman so after it got kind of quiet upstairs so they had been you know like chit chatting or whatever and so you can always it was like background noise so it started to get quiet so my mom went back upstairs and checked on them tell me why tell me why they were sitting on the platform eating cereal, eating some Fruit Loops. When I tell you my mom about lost it, she said, I know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I know y'all are not eating no cereal right now. I know y'all are not eating cereal. I know. The reason that we told y'all to take your shoes off before you walked on the carpet was to keep stuff off the carpet. So, what logic makes you think you can eat some sugary Fruit Loops on the carpet? But you can't walk on the carpet with your shoes. Are you serious? So at first, cause I came up with her. So I saw them sitting down eating their little cereal. So it was like, I was expecting them to like get up real quick when we came upstairs and 
we saw them eating their cereal. But they just like there for a minute and was trying to see if we was gonna go off or not. And then with my mom was like, Then they was like, who gotta go? I was like, y'all, who, I don't know. I don't know like who, um, they must have been like some Craigslist. I don't know. It seemed like they just bought like a trailer and put a sticker on their car, make it seem legit and just came over because they wanted some quick money. Cause it didn't seem like they had any training, no type of experience. It was just completely ridiculous. So long story short, they finished painting the room at about, when did they, they came over at like three. So they finished painting the room, like it was dark, like it was getting dark. So I guess it was around eight or nine or something like that. While they were still inside and, um, naming prices that weren't about to get paid because y'all ain't do your job um, my grandpa was like go take a picture of their car so we can tell um, one of my other family members who's a um, cop if they could you know like see what's up with them if they were like a real paint company or whatever so I took a picture of their car I took it a picture of the license plate and all that good stuff and sent it to my grandpa because that was just it was just so ridiculous how horrible they did and then if you look around my room the um, wall where it meets the ceiling you know where it meets the ceiling you can see the white paint from the wall on the ceiling because it's two different whites and then on some places it's really um like spotty so you can still see some of the color that was underneath it yeah yeah like what i'm looking at right now you can still see a little strip of like it's like really faint but you can still tell it was like a darker color um over the paint and then in the bathroom is the worst because it's um tan it's kind of like it's kind of like my phone color like right here but it's like sandy moroccan type color and so the paint on the wall before they put that on was um like beige so it's a big contrast so you can tell the difference where it's like patchy so they did a very pathetic job and then was talking about they named this price and it was so ridiculous that my mom was like no we're not paying that so I don't remember I don't know how that went down but I just know it wasn't pretty. Someone texted me. Someone texted me again. <laughs> Late as usual. You. There's a lot of things to do, guys. Don't ever text me and say, don't ever ask me what I'm doing, and when I ask you what you're doing back, say nothing. Do not do it. Do not do it. Asking me to not look at your, well, to look at your message and not reply. That's what you're doing. Don't you ever say you're doing nothing. I don't even care if you say you're breathing and that's it. Because at least that's something. And especially, do not say, if I ask you why you're never doing anything, do not say because there's never anything to do. If you say because there's never anything to do, you're asking for a punch in the face. 
I'm gonna be nice to this person and say, well, find something. Do that now. But if I was having a bad day today, I would say, get a life. Because you're never doing anything, and I think that's pathetic. Why? Why would you say you're not doing anything? You are about to get ignored. You are about to get ignored. Don't take it personal. You are about to get ignored. I hope that it doesn't hurt your feelings too bad. But you are getting ignored. You're getting left on R. You're getting left on R.